the nuclear arms race is on. And at its center is the B-52. This is the B-52H Stratofortress. We call it the Buff, which stands for Big Ugly Fat Fellow, although that acronym is open to interpretation. The Buff is 156 feet long and 40 feet tall. One of the largest bombers in Air Force history. It's got a payload to match. The internal weapons bay holds a 10,000 pound nuclear bomb. And the B-52 has the speed to survive an atomic blast and make a swift getaway. It can reach 600 miles an hour. The B-52 has eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, which when it was made in the 1950s, made it faster than some of the fighters of its day. Massive wings give the buff lift for long range flights into Soviet territory. With in-flight refueling, it can travel even farther. With aerial refueling, the B-52s could theoretically continue to fly for hundreds of hours. In 1956, the B-52 shows the world how deadly it can be. A buff flies nonstop to an uninhabited South Pacific island and unleashes a 7,600-pound hydrogen bomb. The explosion is 200 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. The U.S. then sends B-52s armed with live nuclear bombs to patrol the Soviet Union's borders, an operation known as Chrome Dome. Operation Chrome Dome was a 24-hour alert mission in which B-52s were tasked with a specific strategic target within the Soviet Union. And if the Cold War turned hot, they would be prepared to immediately fly into the Soviet Union and strike strategic targets there. For 10 years, armed B-52s constantly circle Soviet territory. If one crashed and nuclear weapon went off, it would have been disastrous. If it was misinterpreted, it could have meant World War III. After three crashes with no detonations, the U.S. ends Chrome Dome in 1968. But it's not the end for the B-52. The remarkable thing about the B-52 is that it has performed so many different types of missions over so many years. During the Cold War, the Air Force modifies the buff to carry up to 70,000 pounds of conventional bombs to devastating effect. 